Awesome. So we are going to play Nexus. This is a 1v1 arena RPG game. And um, in fact, it can play with more players. Mm -hmm. That's in the works. That is to be revealed later. So hashtag spoilers. Uh, we are going to play a one versus one game. Mm -hmm. uh, but what is the first thing we need to do? We need to set up the board. Yeah. As you see, we have a beautiful arena here so that is fenced in. Yep. We are going to set up. Derek is going to set up these awesome ah! floor spikes. The floor spikes. They're actually dangerous. Here. They're a little pointy. They're very dangerous. Uh, they are very pointy. There you go. And floor then spikes. we have these amazing braziers. Braziers. Like, so cool. They look real. Yeah. Seriously. Now, I, I want to go ahead and put this out. This is a professionally painted mm -hmm. resin miniature uh, set. set. You can get these in the... Oh, is the volume too low? You two are a little quiet. Hold on, we will pull that up one second. One second, guys. All right, let me know if that's better. Sorry. Sorry about that. Let us know if that is a little bit better. Uh, we're trying, we've got a lot of background noises we're trying to drown out. Uh, but anyways, we are, <laughs> we're here. Hopefully the sound is a little louder. The first thing we need to do is set up the board. Mm -hmm. And so we need to um, set up the floor spikes, the floor spikes four, and the braziers. Awesome. And we'll do the fire. All right. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can do what they call mm -hmm. RPO. It's a random placement object. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and agree on where to put them. So we've agreed that I get to place all the floor spikes and... Um, <laughs> unless he's going to do the brazier. Uh, Daniel had to get out his phonograph, so I'm glad you had that handy and that you're able to hear us. So here we go. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to place one here. I'm going to do a little bit of a... Uh, hmm... Okay. Oh, wow. You're not going to give us any room. <laughs> You're going to give us any room to move. Goodness. All right, fine. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that with you. Wow, just Hold copy on. what I'm doing, huh? Yeah, exactly. We'll go, we'll go one north, south. We'll go like that. North, south, east, I and west. I thought you would do them randomly so they'd be more spread out. Okay, fine. Here, I mean, here. Do whatever you want. No, you I'm going to do, me. you do, you do, you boo. All right, so there we have it. We've set up the board, and now we are going to show off our mini. Show off our miniatures. Because, man, I'm like half screen. <laughs> so this is the um, Gabriel the Zealot. Okay, so this is the Zealot miniature, and Lizzie's playing Diablo, the Supremacist. So this is the miniature that Lizzie will be using this evening. All right, so we are going to enter the arena. Mm -hmm. Do you want to randomly enter the arena, or would you like to place your figure? Okay, I'll randomly enter. Okay, like all right, let's randomly enter. So the way you can randomly spawn objects into the board is by using this nifty uh, die that has the um, cardinal directions. Mm -hmm. Then you roll a d8, and uh, it's going to give you a, uh, an intersection of the corners. D8. Yep, we need two D8s, so go ahead and give me yours. Which is this one. Yeah, okay. too many dice. So we're going to roll these bad boys. Okay. And I'm going to go S8. Well, I actually don't even really need to do the cardinal direction. So, seven. Which one is yep, this? seven, eight. So all the way over here by the floor spike. Mm -hmm. Alright. And for me? Six, eight. Six. So you are, like, right next to me. Nope, I'm on the other side of the floor spikes. <laughs> all right, now all of the hazards deal damage. There are going to, we're going to randomly spawn some of these floor saws uh, sometimes. The floor spikes will change after we hit our turning point. There are a lot of rules to this game. We're not going to bore you with them. We're going to play the game and we'll explain what we're doing as we do it. But we don't want to get too much into the rules because we don't want to bog it down. Just a little bit. Uh, so, we're just going to give you enough to give you a taste so you can see the game in action. So I will start. I will roll my D6. Well, first we're going to both roll our D6 I'll and see who goes see first. Who's first. Where's my D6 at? I lost it. You lost your D6. It's over there. Is that it? Yeah, give me that one over there. Woo! Okay. I mean, it's not mine, but it'll do. Okay. Let me roll to see who goes first. I got a six. I got a three. All right, so I go Derek first. Derek will go first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let me... No, you first? got it. Okay. 
So Derek will roll his die on his turn, whatever number it is, he will take one of these little coins, the placement tokens, and he will be on the bottom here, I will be on the side here, mm -hmm. and he will place his in the one. So that shows that he has ro rolled one one during the game. Once he hits three of those, that's the midway turning point, we will pull up one of these turning point cards, something will happen. It's a narrative, it's a story, yeah. it's RPG. So I might spawn another floor saw, it might cause one of us to lose damage, you never know what's going to happen. So once he hits three, that will happen, and once I hit three, that will also happen. When you re-roll a number that has already been rolled, so if he rolled another one, that would activate one of the floor saws. So that would come out like we did before, we'll roll the, the two dice to determine where it will come, and then um, that will continue to stay out there until it either, until it runs into something and yep. explodes. So yep. it can run into the fire, it can run into floor spikes. Or it can run into so the yeah, so the floor spikes, the braziers are indestructible items, mm -hmm. so they're actually not able to be destroyed. Though the floor saws can get destroyed by mm -hmm. smashing into them, yes. and then there can be um, yeah, just damage, yeah. havoc, and we'll we'll get to that when it happens. Okay, yeah, and then I just want to say that we are playing with uh, these three over here. You can see the three different. Uh -huh. uh, Hazards we're playing there with. There are a bunch of different There are a bunch. We have, and I just want to show these off because they are absolutely awesome. You have columns that spit darts, so dark columns. We have weapons crates, so these crates can be smashed and weapons will actually spawn from them. My personal favorite. We have this, uh, what is it, like radioactive waste? Yeah, something like that. We have a, a uh, pillar that has spikes on it that you can run people into. And then we have the Barge Beast, which is like a Kraken that will spawn and, uh, and try to eat you. <laughs> now before we start, mm -hmm. I want to say that this game actually will kill you more than your opponent is going to kill you. Yeah, I'm more worried about the... Trying to survive him. this situation is crazy. It's chaotic, it's madness, and that's what's fun about it. Yes. That is what's fun. So. Without further ado, I am going to go first. So the first thing you do is you're going to roll for your action points. So I got a four, all right? So I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to put it here. So that gives me four action points to mm -hmm. spend on my turn. There are a number of different actions you can take, uh, movement and combat. Mm -hmm. So here on this sheet, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. here are some of the movements that I can do. I can move, you can turn. You can rotate, you can do all sorts of things on that. And then you have a lot of different attacks here on the card as well. Mm -hmm. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move. I don't wanna be anywhere near Lizzie right now. I wanna figure out what I'm gonna do with my life. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I used all my action points and now I'm gonna pass to Lizzie. Okay, let's see what I can do. I roll a natural six. Okay. A natural six is good and bad. Uh, number one, a natural six is going to unlock your focused attack or precision, precision attack, attack. I'm sorry. You can you only can... do it when you roll a natural right. six. So but you have to be within range to fight. I am obviously not, since he ran away like a little girl. It's correct. And it uses all of your action points mm -hmm. when you roll a natural six. But so, it's very powerful. Yeah. Essentially what it does is, and uh, I guess we should probably talk about these cool character sheets. This is the RPG element of the game. And so, uh, here we go. So we have our character here with their uh, organs. The precision strike allows you to take out one of their organs. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to essentially leave them with less dice to roll on their turn. Then you have the number of dice, uh, here we go, here. So these are the different attacks. These are the dice that you would roll. And this is your defense value that you roll when you're defending yourself. So we're going to use this sheet for everything that we do in the game as far as mm -hmm. actions and everything that we need. It also has our, our health points. Yes. So we're both going to start at 50 health. So we're going to start at 50 health. And then as we take damage, we're going to take damage to our overall health. But we're also, we might take damage to some of our actual body parts. Mm -hmm. So our head, our chest, our midsection. This is a good time to tell you how do you win. You win by surviving, obviously, and trying to kill your opponent. When your opponent's overall is to zero, yes. or if their head or chest reaches zero, zero, game's over. Yep. Okay, so can I take my action set? 
Absolutely. Sorry. So I'm Sorry to interrupt you. Diagonal two and forward one. Yes, yeah, so you can move diagonally in this game. You can. That is one, two, so three. So one, two, three. It now she. Three left. And she's behind me. So this is important. When you are behind a player, you're actually going to gain plus two damage. I totally planned that. Did you totally plan no, that? I didn't. It just happened to work out that way. Okay, so I have three. So I'm going to do a focus attack, okay. which is three of my action points. And I roll my d10, mm -hmm. which is, is that, that's this one. No, this is a 12. D10, this d10. one right here. This Soccer ball looking one. This, this one. No, okay, I thought that was a 12. No, that's a 10. Or I'm sorry, this no, that's a 12. 12. This is your 10 right here. Yeah, okay. I knew it was a 10. And I'm going to roll a d12. In my, in defense. We have roll blood. Eight. Okay, I rolled an eight. Eleven. <laughs> you failed. You suck. <laughs> okay. Well, so my that's defense my was, turn. I was able to defend myself against that. And so let's just make sure. On defense, on defensive rules. You did have a plus two damage, oh, so, so you it would should have. A 10. You should have actually no. What would have happened was with your no. plus two SDS, you would have rolled a D eight and a D six. A D eight and a D six. So you should definitely reroll that. Yes, I should. Because you're probably going to be able to beat my roll. D eight. D eight and a D six. These are for die. All right, so I rolled a four. Ouch. I rolled a ten. So that's six damage. That is going to go. Much better. And this was a what? This you used a, a focused, a focused attack. attack. So, I so it damages my overall. So I take six damage to my overall. And then you're going to roll. Whenever you take a random body object, you're going to roll your d8, and it's going to determine what else takes six damage. So a three. Three. That is your right upper. So my right upper starts at twelve, and I just took six to it. So now it's at six, and I'm at forty-four health. Okay. So that was pretty good for you. This game is super fast paced, by the way, too. Like it's it is just in your face, dealing damage. There's really nothing to, to run away from. Oh, he All says right. focus. I get to pick. Uh, focus. Oh, yeah, it is a specified body location. Yeah, Did I'm you want to do my right? You're gonna do my head. Yeah. I'm gonna do something that can kill you. Yeah, that's right. It's the um, the standard attack does the random yes. body. So you're gonna do my head. So I take. Six on my head, which puts me at 14. Do Dang. Yep. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Here we go. A three. So I take one of these. I put this three here. All right. Three. You want to turn around and face me? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm going to go one, two, three. Three. three as well. Noise. What's we gonna do? I'm not gonna be able to face you. Well, I mean, you. Okay, go diagonal you one. Kick the fire I know. on. I know. I am. <laughs> diagonal one over right. Kick the fire. One. Oh, hold on a second though. To strafe, it costs you two. What? If you want to move left or right. It costs you two action points. Oh, I can only move forward. But you well, can. Can do I move forward and kick it, or do I have to face it one? You could kick it diagonally, but it's going to go in this look. It's going to go in this spot if you kicked it. Because remember, the fire can spread in eight different yeah. directions. Now you could kick it that way. I'm still going to take five damage on my next no. turn because I'm next move to me. it. Okay, so that was one. Move me diagonal, one. You want to turn face me? Yes. Like that. So you can't sneak attack me at least. Yeah, but I can push you. I can if I if I hit you up against a wall, you take extra damage when I when I attack you against a wall. That's okay. This way you can't hit me with the fire. It's true. It's true. But I'm still knocking it over. <laughs> well, I know he's like little pyre over here. I'm just he gonna like run around. Pops around the board and finding the fire to kick. The fire is so much fun to kick around. So I wrote. So I had a five. So now we're going to get a mid turning point card. So he has three out. Three of the six uh, locations have been hit. <laughs> it's not a game of hide and seek. This is the money shot. I'm going to throw this up for the art for you guys to see. The artwork in this game is like punk 90s. It's super, super cool. Um, someone in the crowd has an agenda. They are intent on shooting a helot. Each Lannister, which is us, we are Lannister, this is our helot, 
<laughs> We're gonna roll a d12. The helot of the Lannister with the lowest roll takes six damage to the head. If the unlucky helot possesses instinct, then it's only four. But neither of us have instinct. Nope. So let's roll our yeah, d12 roll to see high. who gets hit from a random person in the... We both are holding 10! Oh my gosh! We tied. We tied. So do we both take it or we do we both, need it? Uh, wow. A tie on the narrative. Uh, I said we both take it. Double okay, shot. Six Double to shot. Head. Six to the head. And oh, that's good for me because I hit your head earlier. <laughs> yeah, you did. So it takes me to eight this on my head. really quick. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so that is a good opportunity to tell you, for those of you who are watching, mm -hmm. this game is very, very flexible. Yes. It's very fluid. In fact, Scott and Jay, the designers of this game, have talked about, and I've talked to them about this, how it's kind of the, a monopoly free parking situation where they want you, they have, in the back of this rule book, there's one page of setup. Like it tells you how to set it up and it gives, mm -hmm. and, the, and the rule book gives you guidelines and gives you rules, mm -hmm. but then it tells you go have fun. Mm -hmm. It tells you to go and just enjoy the game. And so if there's something in the rule book that you're not really sure about, mm -hmm. and I talked to, we talked about this in the yeah. video yesterday, where you can, if we agree with it, that's what happens. Yeah. It's very much a RPG feel where the players mm -hmm. can kind of choose nuanced rules. Like in that situation where we both tied on a 10, mm -hmm. we both decided that we both should we get shot. The, yeah. But you know? we could have gone the other way. We both said, you know, hey, we both rolled a 10. Maybe we both ducked and neither of yeah, us got exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. But it's just those kind of nuanced rules where as, as long as the players are having fun and you're getting into the game. And everyone agrees. And everyone agrees. Just go for it. Just do it. Just do it! Just do it! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take my actions, um, which was a four, 5, right? I don't know why this is a 4. It was a 5. It was, it was yeah. a 5, yeah. Yeah. So, let's go... It's going to cost me 2 to back up. Uh, actually, can I backflip? Roll to see if your helmet succeeds. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to roll a d6 and try to backflip into this position. Let's get a 4 or higher. <laughs> Got it. So, whoosh, 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 bam, backflip. I mean, you got so points. So that was so that was four. So I have fly. four. I have four action points left. I'm gonna spend two of it to do this. Then I'm gonna spend one action point to kick over the fire. Ryan started the fire. Just watch that episode. <laughs> it's my favorite. So now this square has fire, and now at the beginning of each. Um, like a turning point on a duplicate action, we're going to roll the north, uh, the cardinal direction die and determine where the fire spreads. But Lizzie's going to take five damage because she's starting adjacent to it. Because I'm close to it. And I have one action point left, so I'm going to try another backflip because backflips are awesome. Nope. Ooh, failed. Denied. He landed on his head. Womp womp. Okay. Go ahead. My turn. I'm going to roll. I rolled a natural six. You rolled another nat six? Yes. Okay, so, oh no. I rolled another one. Oh, nice. So, you know what comes out now? First of all. Well, I have to take five. You take five from the so fire. So I'm at 55. Then you're going to roll your... Or that's your 55. Diary. That's going up five. I'm at 45. Don't give yourself health. You get the north. You get the cardinal direction die. You got to roll to see where oh, the fire spreads. Okay, go for it. It goes west. west. So this is north, south, east, west. Right west looks that way. North. Oh, we moved the board moved from north. last night. Uh, you can't go onto that, so you have to roll again. Why not? You can't go onto wouldn't an occupied move? position. No. You, wouldn't that be like where it is? No. You can't go onto another lock. Just roll again. <laughs> north north east. east. You can move away. At least you're not on I fire. Know. Not this game. And then you roll the duplicate action. So now you get to <laughs> summon the floor spikes. Yep. Okay, so this okay, is the first no. time a floor spike has, a floor spa has come, a saw has come out, sorry. Okay. I'm really struggling. Floor saw. So. Oops, sorry. I'm... What in the world? It wasn't together and I was trying to It's fix not going it. to go together. It's OCD. Just leave it. Okay. Okay. Cardinal direction, 2d8. Roll 2d8. 
Well, do oh, the D, the, do, do the, the D8, yeah. yeah, do the D8 first. Things aside, so eight. Okay. And one, seven. One, eight. Oh, no. One, seven? It's eight and seven. Oh, that's so a one. one. Upside down, it looks like a seven. Sorry. So eight. One, eight. All right, so which way is it going, and how many? Right? Or two? Well, then you roll the six. Then you roll these together. Oh, yeah. it's the eight. No. Yep. Southeast, so. Southeast, eight times. One, two, three. Five. Six, seven, eight. Explodes. You take. No, I'm not next to it. Wouldn't it be. Oh yeah, you're right. If you're right square. there, that square would take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so barely got away I with it. I made it out unscathed, and I also exploded the force out, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. So now it will come out to be respawned again. Okay, so I still have six actions though. Yep. Okay, go diagonal, forward, forward, turn. So that's one, two, three, four. So I'm to the side One, of you. two, three, four. Yeah, so I have two left. So you have two left, which gives you a standard or or two wild attacks. I'm gonna do it standard. So, so now the standard attack control. is where it does damage a random body part. Yes. So I roll my twelve. Eleven. Eleven. That's not good. Six. Okay, so that's five. So I take yes. five damage to my overall and then she rolls a random um, body part. Body part. Wait, it's the eight, right? Yeah, the D eight. This, this one. This one. Yep. Five. Five that is, is my mid section, so that's another. It was six, right? Yes, because it was eleven and five. Yeah. So this goes down to nine. Okay. So, uh, Toxanius Ornica has a question. Uh, a little confused. So these are uh, about the things right into the sides. These are street cred. Uh, these are the credits or the action markers to show what we've taken. So this is a one through six here and a one through six here. So it's basically allowing us to see what we have rolled. And then if we roll the same number, there are special events that happen. Mm -hmm. The object of the game or the object of these is to try to get one in all of them, which I mean, you know, you mm -hmm. want to, in order to get these narrative turning point cards. Or three of them. Or three of them gives you one. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing you can do, if you roll a one and you don't want the one or the two, you can spend five of your health, health and you can go up to a six. Now, it doesn't give you the natural six, but it does give you mm -hmm. six action points. So the, I really like that mitigation yeah. in the game, um, which is nice. I mean, you can do it at any point. If you were at five and you wanted to take five points to get a six you could it's probably not in your best interest. so i have a three okay so i just rolled a three again which is going to uh do two events number one the fire is going to spread it's going to go north okay and then many, though? Isn't it huh no it just moves one space at a time and then we're going to do a floor cell so we both roll a d8 a two and an eight two and an eight right here oh two eights up there yeah yeah okay and then we're going to roll the cardinal direction. Uh, it's going to go southeast for four. So southeast. Yep. One, two, three, four. Does and it explode when it goes through this? It oh, yeah, it does explode through going through one. the first object. Yep. Would it knock it down? Nope, it doesn't knock it down. Okay. So, so it, explodes. Goes, it explodes, no one's there, no damage. When the floor saws us. explode, there's actual shrapnel damage as well. Mm -hmm. And so anything within a one square radius of that location takes mm -hmm. five damage. Uh, so that is what those do. Okay, so I have three actions. Mm -hmm. Do I want three actions or do I need six? Um, I don't know what you to do. Chaos. We should have special abilities too. Like you're really good at grappling, mm -hmm. um, which I want to get away from Lizzie because she's very good at grappling. And then I have a leap of faith that allows me to jump over my opponents. Um, I'm actually going to sacrifice five of my health so I'm going to go to 34. And <laughs> Bree says, so anticlimactic. <laughs> Don't worry. There will be plenty of drama. Uh, sure. So I'm going to go up to six action points for the turn. And so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. More fire. <laughs> I told you. He's a little pyro. 
All right, you're up. Okay. It just makes it more a fun one. when uh, when it's rolling around. Oh, another turning so that point. That is a turning point. Turning point for Lizzie. Okay. I remember you. Your Helen remembers something embarrassing about its opponent from its days in the meat gardens, using this memory to shame it. The opposing helot forfeits its next action round in embarrassment. Helots with swagger trait are not affected. Nice. So I have swagger. I have swagger as well. So we are not affected okay. by That was this. useless. Well, it was for us, but it may not be useless yes. against another character. Uh, and there are a lot of characters in this game that you okay, can play Okay, so I as. have one. But you, or you could go up to six. You could spend yeah. five health to go up to six. You don't feel like it? No. Perfect. I'm just going to move. You're just gonna move? I'm gonna turn. I'm just gonna turn. You're just gonna turn? I'm afraid you're gonna try to grapple me or something. Well, if you keep running away, Another it's three. not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so all the fire is going to move. It's going to move east, so east, it can't go any further. So does it run into the wall? No, I'm gonna roll for another to nope, see where that one moves. I rolled east you three rolled times. East three times. Apparently, it, it just wants staying. to go east. It's going to stay east because it just wants to move east. It is stubborn. Uh, let's go ahead and roll for placement of a uh, of a floor cell. A one. And a four. Four. Ba -ba -ba. Here. Yep. And one four, and Two. then yep. It is going to move northeast, which is straight at me too. So, so it goes here though. Explodes, explodes. nothing happens. Oh man, if you're just I was one closer. So close. If I was one closer, I would have taken damage from that uh, exploding on the on the item. Okay, I have three action points. Okay. I'm going to spend five health. I'm gonna go to twenty-nine. And I'm going to go To take go to six? Yeah, to go to six. Sorry. Wow. I'm going to six action points. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six. I really hope that fire runs into you. <laughs> I just want to spread all the fire all over the board and watch as it moves. And four. Okay, that is a new one. And, oh, I get to roll this and a six Why? or eight. The fire moves. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? When you get a duplicate. Oh. I thought the fire moves every turn. Move every turn? Yes. These come out on a duplicate, but the fire always moves, I'm fairly certain. Um. Yeah, the fire doesn't move if there's an obstacle in the way, so... What do you mean if there's an obstacle in the way? Like these obstacles, well, yeah. yeah. So it wouldn't move. It would just nothing would happen. Yeah. Um. It, sure. You know what? You want the fire to move every I want round? The fire to move every round. Okay. I don't know what I. Uh... So I roll an eight. No, you just roll that. You just roll. Just roll that. Oh, just roll, and it just moves one, right? West. West. So, so this way. one. That's oh yeah. East. Here. West. Here. So that one can't move. That can't move. Man, that one just got stuck in a corner. You want it to move every round? I'm down. I'm up for it. Let's I want it. as much. If you're gonna cause chaos, I'm gonna cause chaos. Okay, <laughs> so I have four. You can't attack. Fire! You can't attack diagonally, can you? Huh? Uh, you can attack. It depends. There is a handy dandy line of sight that is for that. Let me figure out. You have to attack in front. So wild attacks can be diagonal. Standard attacks can be diagonal. Focused and precision have to be straight ahead of you. Okay. So if you wanted to do a wild, it is. I could go one, two, two three, three, and attack me with a wild or but a standard. That means I am next to the fire the next turn. Next round, yes. Go. One back more. Three. Yes, that's um, correct. No, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. Four. All right. I guess I better roll to see where this fire spreads, huh? South. Oh, first I take five he damage, does it, though. He started next to it. Because I started next to the so fire. So let's go south. That was south, good. south, south. All right, let's roll for action points. A five. five. Okay, another saw. All right, let's see where the saw spawns. Roll your D8. Six. 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 Here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's figure out where it moves. Uh, moves north, north two. two, so one, two. It's going to stay on the board. Mm. 
Nice. So floor saws are going to continue to spin. They're going to stay on the board until they explode until well something. they'll move again on the well, next yeah. RPO, which is a random placement object roll. Uh, so I have five action points. Cool. So let's go. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five. I'm getting that last fire. <laughs> yeah, I get there first. All right, roll for fire. Oh right. South. south again. Can't move, moves, moves. Oh man, now it's all going so south. Four. I'm gonna have to grapple, pick you up, and throw you into it. So I'm gonna go one, two. Uh oh, you're kicking it north. Three. Huh? Yep. Yep. And I have one more. Sorry, it's trying to face you. Yeah. Now flanking and being in behind a player is important. So anytime you can turn to face your opponent, it's always best. It's always best. Hmm. Hey, go ahead. Roll okay. the fire. Fire goes southwest, so One. can't move. Uh -huh. Moves. What are you? Oh. Moves. So it moves here. Correct. So it's both of us. It is both of us. So we're both gonna take. Well, actually, I'm gonna move. So it's gonna be you. Well, it's the start of your turn, though. It's there. Oh, that's true. That's true. So Dang. we'll take five. All right. All right. I'm gonna roll for three. That's an RPO, so it's another floor saw. And that one will move as well, yep. right? That one's gonna move as well. So go ahead and roll your D8. Five, three. three. So five, three is gonna go right here. Oh, you, please be north. Please be north. Not even please north. be north. Please north, please. West. Ah, Two. no. One blows up. That's definitely east. Oh. Oh. West would be one, two, <laughs> which hits both of us. We both, get we both take five shrapnel damage. Okay, so I'm at 35. Uh, I'm at health. You're at what? <laughs> I'm at 14. <laughs> you know what happened? You went under 20. I went under 20, so we need to figure out where a health pack goes. Yes, so we can race to to get health. But I just hit under 20, so. Yeah. So, so now the health pack is going to come into the uh, arena. Because when a helot reaches below 20, someone oh, from the crowd throws this one, one in. Move two? Yeah, it should move two, west two. One, two. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So roll your d8. Four, eight. So four, eight. Oh, it lands on this. <laughs> it lands on the floor <laughs> saw. I think I to destroy. I really needed that help. <laughs> Can we throw another one? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, we have to at least even just, no. like, no, it'll be like, here it is from the crowd. Woo! <laughs> and it just got dude. destroyed. Your thanks, aim is horrible. Thanks for nothing. Man, my people are horrible. They have horrible aim. They must be clone troopers just or stormtroopers or something. Like, in in the Hunger Games, when, like, you can get sponsors and they send you, like, soup <laughs> or something, and it, like, would just, like, land in, like, a fire and just... <laughs> Like, that was oh, my sponsor from thanks. Hunger Games. Just lands right in the fiery explosion. Okay, well let's go ahead. I have three action points. Yep. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm you gonna go gonna fight me? one, two, and then my third. I'm going to um, Is grapple one. <sighs> grapple is two. Grapple's one for you. I'm you going to. Mine's stronger. Actually, you know what? No. I'm not going to do that. Was that facing this way? Yes. I'm going to go one. Oh, man, that's still going to give me one. Oh, my goodness. I'm in so much trouble regardless. This is so not good for me. Uh, I'm so enjoying this. I'm going to backflip. And, and he I fails. fail. I'm going to backflip. He fails. I'm going again. to backflip. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to backflip. <laughs> Three times and I failed. <laughs> so I can just imagine my person just like hitting his head like bump, bump, bump. <laughs> just just over and over and <laughs> over. Like, you were not a doubt the worst angel I've ever heard of. But you haven't heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that was an so epic fail. that was all fail. three of your actions? Hashtag epic fail. That was all three of my actions. Wow. Go ahead. It's your turn. I just hope the fire takes no. you out. Well, let's roll for the fire first. North. We want to go north. Northwest. Northwest. Okay, northwest, right? West. West. Yep. Okay. 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 Okay.
It's not going to be <clears throat> Okay, floor saw. There is still one out there. Oh, I have to roll my die to see whether or not it's going to move, right? It has to be... For what? The floor saw? It's if I roll... You have to roll your action dice first. I know, that's what I'm saying. A five! So it's new. That is a new one. So that one doesn't move, right? None of them move. It's yeah, because you rolled a new Okay, a new so number. I have five. Are you ready for this? <sighs> I'm in big trouble. You're going to move forward one. So I'm Are you going to grapple me? Yeah, I'm going to grapple you. Oh, crap. So four. I'm going to grapple you, which is just one for me, and I roll a d12. Oh, crap. So that puts me, guys, puts me down by three more actions. Okay, okay so a grapple, this is where the MMA, this is the UFC. So she's going to try to take me down. If she grapples me, then I go from free to grappled. Mm -hmm. So we each have this card where we are free moving, then I'll be grappled. So let's see if, she, if it happens. You roll and I roll to defend. I rolled a five. I rolled a two. Perfect, so it doesn't happen. But she can okay, try so again. Okay, so I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to two. I'm going to yep. try and grapple you again. Oh, let me roll for defense. I oh, 12. natural 12. I can't. Oh. Natural 12 in defense. But hang on. Um, the perfect strike is a maximum roll on any attacking action other than wild attack. That's not an attack though, is it right? No, that's a perfect strike. This is a grapple. I just rolled, we both just natural 12. She rolled a natural 12, I rolled a natural 12. Unbelievable! You, you went to like fall on your head three times and then you roll a 12? I may not be a good angel at flying, but I'm good okay. at defending myself. So I have a two. No, you have ah. one left. Oh, I have one left? You have Are you one sure? Yes. Two. You used... Was one. Yeah, I'm watching you. You have one and left. And then I grapple, grapple. That's three. I rolled a five. Okay, I have two. Yep. No, I have two left. You have two left? Yeah. Because okay. I was five, so I moved. One, two, three, four. I grapple, grapple. No. One, one, one. two, three. Okay, two. Grapple. All right. Yeah, I Fair. have two. I've been Fair. using this to keep track. So I'm going to do a standard attack. With my D twelve. All right, come on, please, please, Wait. please, 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 please. Am I? No, I'm not behind you. So uh, you get a flank though. You get a flank, uh -huh. which gives you a plus SDS. So, so that gives you. You roll what typically? D twelve. D twelve so steps D8 up to a D eight and D six. So let's roll this, and then I'll talk about what the SDS is because yeah. it's really neat. Okay, so let's roll this. Uh, I rolled an eight. I rolled an eleven. So I take two damage. What? Three, eleven, and eight. Right, math is hard. And so, then it was a standard attack, so, so then I rolled choose. my 12, no, I rolled my 6. Hmm? A standard, yeah, no. Standard attack, you rolled this oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. side. Yeah. Come on, head. Two. No, you roll a d8. Oh, d8. Are you sure? Yep, positive. That's an 8. 3. 3 so is the right I take upper. 3, so I'm at 9. Okay, so, all right. Oh, and I take, you hit me into a wall, too. I forgot about that. So the wall is going to give me additional damage. That wall gives you, up against the wall, two more damage. So I actually took five damage total. So I go here, and I take an extra three here. No, two here. So I go to seven on my right upper. Okay, so the sliding dice scale, it's called SDS. Uh, and you can see that here on this. Uh, let me just pull this up so you can see it. Oh, man, maybe. Uh, yeah, perfect. There we go. Okay. So this is the SDS. This is your scale for what you're going to roll on attacks, depending, or even in defense. It, so if you were to roll a D10, if you were to roll a D10 and you had a positive SDS, you would step up to a D12 or maybe a D8, a D6. So it really just depends. It's a very, very mm -hmm. slick system yes, on awesome. trying to figure out what to roll. And it makes it actually really simple. Yeah. So pretty cool. But you can also go negative. You can't go negative if you lose appendages, if mm -hmm. you lose body parts. Uh, yeah, Being I got hard. smacked into that wall hard. I need to get the heck out of here. So here we go. Uh, let's roll for fire. Uh, north. Yeah, so north. moves, moves, moves. Okay. Let's roll for action points. That would be a four, which is a duplicate. So, so we're going saw. to roll for floor saw. So roll your D8. I rolled a four. Five. So it's going to go right here. And let's roll to see which direction it runs into. North. North 4. So, so this runs into this. It explodes. They both explode. And this explodes. Okay, so both floor stars are off. I have four action points. So I'm going to go one. I'm going to spend two to grapple you. So I'm going to roll um, to grapple. My grapple is a D8 and a D6. So my, what do I do, 12? You roll your defense. Yes. So a D4 and a D8, or a D6 and a D8. 
Eleven. Seven. Ouch. Nice try. I'm just going to, uh... Oh I'm just going to wild attack. I'm just going to flail my arms, because at this point I just need to do something. He's just hoping to I just, connect. I just need to do something. So, when you do a wild attack, you take one damage to your own person, uh, and then I'm going to roll a d12, um, and Lizzie, you're going to roll in defense. Four. Six. Oh my god. Not today. So bad. I really need to uh, flank you. I should have flanked you to get positive uh, okay. positive damage on so you. So my turn, I'm going to roll for the player. North, North west. So move. nothing. This goes here. That goes okay. there. Now I roll for my action. It is a five. five which so is a duplicate. So I'm four sauce. D8. Eight. Two. Two. Two, two. Two, two. two, two. All right, see how see where it goes. Okay, these two, right? Yep. Northwest. Northwest, five. five, so it explodes right here. Okay, no one gets it. Off the board. That's it. Okay. James has, uh, the do your worst. Not been great. Okay. Do your worst. Can you do a focus attack for three? I feel like I really need to like grapple you, and you know, remember that meme like of the angel, like, why are you hitting yourself? And lo, the you angel the Lord, Lord said, said, why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> I'm just like falling, Why like, doth you hit thyself? Any Supernatural fans out there? Because I'm just like, it's all Supernatural up there right now. I'm even wearing my Supernatural shirt. But yeah. okay, so I am doing I should have named. I should have named him the Zealot. I should have named him, uh, I can't believe his name now. Gabriel? Well, no, not Gabriel. Uh, or is it, no, um. Super? The bad, the, no, the one guy. Uh, there's a lot of bad guys. I know there's a lot of bad show. guys. And they had to, you know, narrow down a little. The one that was, I don't know, I don't remember. Well, I'm having well, a brain I fart. Roll, I'm the focus attack, so that's the 10. Yeah, seriously, Cody, famous wet last words, focus for sure. Focus attack. You're doing a focused attack? Yes. Hold on a second. Focused attack, okay. You roll a d10? Yeah. Well, let me roll for defense. Let you roll a 5? Castiel's not a bad guy. Boom! Oh yeah, Castiel's not a bad guy. That's I shouldn't even Castiel. I rolled a perfect twelve. Why? You were thinking. Wait, that's a D twelve. Oh good. That's the wrong thing. Okay. So now I have two left. So I'm going to do I'm going to grapple because that's only one for me. Okay. So I grapple. I rolled an eight. I rolled a ten. Crap. Alright, so you're grappled. Are you against the wall too? Well, grappling is just a takedown. Okay. It's not an attack. So I'm grappled right now, which means I have to do a liberation in order to try to, try to get out. Do you have any more actions? Yes, I have one more. You have one more? While you're grappled, you can try to drag me if you want. But it costs movement. Can or I you crush? can try to crush me. I can yeah. crush for one. So I'm going to try and crush you. Okay, so... so I have an eight and a six for me. Okay, I'll roll for my crush defense, and I roll do a it. ten. I rolled Perfect. a seven. Perfect, so nothing happens. But I am grappled. So Lizzie has me in her crush... I have to try to liberate myself. Liberation is an action. It takes one damage uh, when I try to do it. Oh, Crowley. There we go. That, that was what I was thinking. Dad, I love Crowley. Well, Crowley's kind of like, he's neutral, evil. bad, neutral, he's evil. He's chaotic neutral. Yeah, chaotic neutral. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to liberate because I can't really do much while I'm in Lizzie's grasp. So I take, it's one action point, but first I need to roll for fire. Lizzie has a crush on you, Jared. West. Say what? Someone just said I have a oh, crush on you. Lizzie has a crush on because you have me grappled. Very funny. Oh. But um, I went right over my head. I was west, like, we're married, west, so I mean. West, west, west. And the fire has doth gone west. So okay. now I'm going to roll for action points. And I roll a five, which is another saw. Here we go. It's pretty much all saws all the time. I rolled a seven. seven. What do you got? I need to figure out what it is. Two. two. So it goes right here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's figure out. How far it, how far it rolls? It's gonna go south for one. It hits no, and stays. It, it stays. Yep, it stays there. Yet. Okay, so I have five action points to spend. You have to stand up though. Uh, no, I'm liberating. I'm trying to liberate myself. Well, yeah, that's, or, and that's what I meant. You have to get ungrappled. I don't think when you grapple me, I don't think I'm prone. No, you're not. I don't believe so. No, I'm just grappled. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try, I'm going to take one point of damage for trying to liberate myself. Uh, I'm going to roll a, my liberation is a d8 and a d6. 
So d8, d6. What do you have to get? You have to get at least. Well, you have to roll. I, it's you have to roll defense. So I have to beat your d12. Okay. I rolled an 11. Rolled Perfect. Four. So I am out. I am a free man. Once again. Okay. So I have four action points left, and I'm gonna grapple you for two of them. So my grapple is going to be a D8 and a D6 again. So then you'll have one action point left? I'll have two left. Did you roll five? Yeah, I rolled five. I have a seven. I have a seven. Dang it. Nothing happens. All right, I'm going to try it again for my last two. Seven. Oh my gosh. No, I seriously need to grapple you. All right, go for it. It's your turn. Roll for fire. North. Lord. Dang. Oh. You take five damage. Five. It's okay. What are you at? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm at life. What are you at? Health. Points. Eight. You're at eight. I'm at eight. <laughs> I've been flailing around. Uh, one. Okay, one. Um, okay. so the floor size will come out. Yes. So let's do floor sauce. Uh, I rolled a six. And I rolled a seven. Okay, so a seven goes up here, and then you roll for direction and movement. So northwest six, so it explodes, yep. nothing happens. Okay, so I rolled a one, but I'm gonna take five damage to turn that into a six. Okay. So I'm gonna go to 25. All right. Okay, so we'll six. I am going to do- Yeah, Daniel, the, the whole fire pyromaniac kicking it over really hasn't panned out for me. I was hoping she'd take a lot more damage. I'm gonna do a standard attack for two. Okay, so I roll, I roll defense. Uh, I roll the twelve. Nine. So nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay, I'm gonna if I had it, I was against a wall. Would have been plus two damage. Okay, I'm gonna go do it again. Standard attack. Five. Ten. ten. Man. Nothing happens. One more. I'm rolling really well. Ooh, that's not good. Eleven to three, so that's eight. That's eight. Plus against a wall. Ten. That's dead. I killed him. That's dead. I probably shouldn't yell that too loud in a new house. Bam. Neighbors, you know? Yeah, new but. house, neighbors. Oh, womp, womp, womp. I died. Holding. All you people trying to be Team Derek, that's what you get. <laughs> Just pan in on the death. Poor guy died. Right here is where he, he died. I think a half of valiant. it was your head injuries to yourself. <laughs> but I didn't take any damage doing it to myself. I know. Though. You should have. It should have been like one each time you did it, and then you do it three <laughs> times in a row. Oh, but what's this? From the crowd, someone throws in a health pack, and I go to ten life. I'm revived. Yeah, they throw it in the fire. <laughs> That's right next to you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't even have. Oh, I should have used. I completely forgot about our influence cards. Yeah. Um. I mean, okay. So at the beginning of the game. You get these two influence cards that you can use at any time during the game, um, and so they're going to allow you to have different actions you can take, and you, they're kind of like free abilities, and they're they're yeah. really neat. You you're dealt six of these at the beginning of the game, and then you're going to choose to keep two of them, and you can use them as an instant action, and they're going to tell you different things yeah. to do. Um, so mine was. Um, your opponent's health damages itself instead of your helmet. Yep. And then my other one was block a successful precision attack against your helmet, which yep. you didn't even get a precision attack. I didn't get game, a precision so attack off on you. It wasn't now. really um, super useful. But there's so much like, the more you play this game, the better you get at it. Yeah. Because like, I mean, right, we were very like just kind of wildly just having fun and doing just mm -hmm. kind of whatever we wanted. But if you actually wanted to, you could really have some sort of like tournament setting to this game where mm -hmm. you. If you're, you, I, I can see you getting very good at like the different actions you can take and the different like attacks and using mm -hmm. the flanking and getting behind your character and using the asymmetric powers they have, and yeah, this game is so fun. It's crazy. Um, it is chaotic, chaotic fun. It's chaotic goodness. <laughs> we didn't even hit any of the floor spikes. So if Lizzie would have rolled a two, or if I would have maxed out my six turning points, what happens is when you fill in these six slots on the board mm -hmm. um they get instantly wiped away you get a plus six damage uh to your attacks for the turn mm -hmm. and then you roll to have all of these floor spikes reappear mm -hmm. 
If they uh, reappear under a character, you lose one of your lower appendages. You lose a leg, which is you hilarious. You lose a limb. Uh, you lose a limb. Yeah, and it's an RPG, so you can create your character and... Yeah, yeah, There's There's RPG, and... there's legacy, there's campaigns to the game. You can... Um, there's so many things we didn't use, like weapons. Like there, are, yeah. there's just a a world begging mm -hmm. to be explored. To be honest with you, um, and we did not really even cover a fraction of the yeah, game. Yeah, none of us got saw. set on fire last night. All yeah. of us were running around was, on fire. I was trying to set her on fire. It just didn't work. It was really funny. So if you're on fire, you could remain on fire and lose five every turn, or you have to use four action points to stop, drop, and roll, which I love. <laughs> Um, yeah, when you're yeah exactly, and then um, if you get hit with a floor saw, you take ten damage, and then yeah. you. Plus, not we both got hit with floor saws multiple times. That's how you die. I, I died. Yeah, the died arena doing. killed me, not Derek. It's true. The so, arena. I mean, yeah. the arena is like another player that you had to compete against, but they're not predictable. It's not like they're gonna like you know come up behind you and you can see them coming or run right, away. Right, right, it's, it's just very like, random. Um, but that's what keeps the game like fun and yeah. interesting and like intense because you don't know mm -hmm. how the arena is going to react. Yeah, because sometimes in a just a two-person game when you're just fighting against each other, you kind of feel like, oh my gosh, just leave me alone. You know, you're just going back and forth. This way, it keeps it interesting because even if you you leave each other alone, you still have that danger of okay, is the floor saw going right. to take me out? Right. Is the you fire just gonna never shift? know. Yeah, exactly. You just you you really never know. Um, and like when you grapple, you can pick people up, you can throw them into mm -hmm. this floor spikes, you can flow, throw them into fires. There's so many things you can do. Um, so just like a small taste a, of this game. Like, very, very, very small, small. taste. Um, we hoped it whet your appetite and that you're really <laughs> interested because it hits Kickstarter on August 1st. August 1st. 